Welcome to this bonus tip from the Fundamentals of Digital Lighting in Blender course. I'm recording this after the release of Blender 2.9 because there's a new feature that makes rendering low poly objects and cycles look a lot better. So if we're just over here in solid view or we're over in material preview, even if we have our subdiv levels very low, things still look relatively smooth thanks to new viewport shading that was introduced in Blender 2.8. So you'll notice that the outline is very jagged, but the actual surface of it is pretty smooth. And you can see the actual wireframe here. However, if we render this out in cycles, we start to have some problems. You notice that there's very harsh and jagged glitches along the line where the shadow is supposed to start to fall off. This is often known as a shadow terminator problem. And in the past, the only real solution to it was just cranking up the subdiv. You can see that setting it to one makes it slightly better, but not really. Setting it to 2 still isn't quite gone away, and setting it to 3 is close enough. But that's definitely not an optimal solution because we don't want to just add subdiv to every object in the scene if it's low poly, round, and smooth shaded. There's a fix for this in Blender 2.9 that's really great. So I'll set this back down to 1 so we can see the problem really clearly. And instead of messing with the amount of subdiv, I'm going to select the object and go to the Object Properties, down to Shading, and just increase the Shadow Terminator Offset. As you increase this, I'll hold shift as I do that to make it go really slowly. You can just shift the shadow over that glitchy area and now it's invisible. You won't see it anymore. If you increase this too much, then things start to get a little bit weird. But if you just leave it at about 0.125 or something like that, then you'll get a nice smooth render with low poly objects. Hope you found that helpful and hope it helps you be a little bit more frugal with your subdivs.